Hey, so I just recorded that entire video, but it turns out that it wasn't recording at all. So I'm going to try and do it again. So the two things were um, that I want to talk about are safety and parenting. So start with parenting. That's like the thing, like this is based on things I learned today. Um, things I want to share with you that I learned today. So the parenting is, it's, in reality, it's something I've been thinking about since I was a little kid. When, like, my mom first smacked me on the bum for doing something naughty, and I just remember thinking, this really hurts. I don't want to do this to my kids. And um, I don't know if I still agree with that because, like, I turned out all right. She, my mom did a great job. Yeah. Robin did a great job. But um, that was the first time I started thinking about it. Second time I, like, really like the second sort of step in thinking about it, I think was when I met Jared Egbers, like year seven, so beginning of high school. And he was, um, I sat next to him in English class and we ended up being like best friends all throughout high school. And I remember like, so like throughout that year thinking, Jared is like the nicest person I've ever met. His parents have done something really good. I hope my kids turn out like him. And it was just that little thought. It was just like, I hope my kids turn out like him and that sort of evolved into how can I make my kids turn out like him what are his parents doing um and I wish I had dug into that deeper but I just I was embarrassed to ask that question so don't be embarrassed to ask that question don't don't be afraid to start parenting young like I 21 and don't have kids and I'm video blogging them hi <laughs> Um, yeah, so I also thought about, um, how this sort of like relates to the purpose of my life, which is like, that's a big one, right? That's, so I've been like, I've been having these sort of like rapidly evolving sort of thoughts about my place in the world and how I want to sort of live my life, um, throughout the last couple of years. It sort of like started like, it started off as like, how can I live my life in the way that I'm going to enjoy it the most? And turns out I'm really good at doing that. I did that really, really well. I like have loved my life since always. It's great. Yeah, I, I have a real, I, I genuinely have a really good life. I've made it really good for myself. Like it's great. Um, but then I started thinking, well, like then I started thinking that's not enough. It's not about like my life and my happiness. I'm, I'm good at making myself happy. But uh, it's it's more about like like what are, what am I doing for the world? Like sure, like that's like step one is I'm good. All right, good. I've taken care of myself. Now I've got to sort of like start taking care of you. And like I mean that in the sense that like if I don't improve this world, you're going to be living in a worse world than I'm living in. I don't want that. The world's like got to improve at the best rate possible, and I've got to make sure that it does. So how what's my impact to the world to help the, just the entire world, like everything? Everything in that, like, um, and so, yeah, that was a big thought. That was like, that took a while to sort of like really figure it out. Like I like, sort of like broke it down initially into like four parts where it's like, I could like sort of just run off and live an adventure and have the best life possible. Or I could, um, like just sort of sacrifice everything, like friends, family and all just to for one particular cause that I think is the most necessary cause. Or I could just sort of like fit into the system and just do what everyone says to do and just add to the like work life of the world. Or I could, and then like just, you know, retire and have money and enjoy the fact that I know how the system works in the world and I can take advantage of that. Like, And then there's like step number four, which is like sort of a combination of all three where I find out the most important thing in the world I fit into the system to fit that part of the world, to fix that part of the world. And then I work my ass off to get to the, move up in the system to the point in which I can have the most influence over making the world as best I can. Which um, sounds, I think that sounds like the right one. But there's always like, you know, you're never going to have as much influence as you think you would getting up to that higher level. Which is like, that's a tough one to overcome. It's like, it's just like, I, I believe it's a sad fact of, like, factor of reality, but I don't think it's something that should stop you or stop me. Um, so, but the other... 
so like, but ultimately it's not just about how I'm going to impact the world because I am only here for a very short amount of time, like 80 to 100 years um, out of these like billions of years that, well, the Earth has existed. Is it about the Earth? Is it about people? I don't know. These are two greater questions for me to ask right now. I don't know the answers to that. But um, what I do know is that one day you will exist. I don't know that. I'm hoping that. And um, I I want to make you better than me. And so I need to make myself the best person possible because it, it's easy to make you better than me if I suck. Well, maybe it won't be actually me because I'll suck. <laughs> and then I won't be able to do anything and then I won't be able to make you good at all. But uh, if I make myself the best person possible, then when I make you better than me, when you make you better than me, when you make you better than me, then, um, yeah, it'll just be to such a greater extent. So, I've, enjoying life is still really important because I want you to enjoy life. Having a big impact on the world is still really important because I want you to change the world for the better. But right now, I can't do that unless I do it myself. I can't, like... I can't make you do that because you don't exist. And even if you did, you're going to be looking up at me. And you, like I look at my dad, and my dad is great and fantastic. And I sort of like want to be like him. And I just want to like, I'm incredibly inspired by him. And so you're, I assume you're going to be the same towards me. You're going to see things that I do and you're going to want to do them better. And that is that's all I can really ask for. So I've got to make myself the best person possible so that when you try and make yourself better, it's going to be damn good. And you've got a, you've got a direction. You've got a direction to see how it's done. Because I've, I've taken those steps already. And you're just sort of following in my steps, building up speed before you jump ahead and make your, make your own path and eventually sort of lead a new lie, a new track for your kids to follow in your footsteps and then run ahead. So that's, that's a, it's, it's important thoughts for me. It's like really important thoughts for me. And I'm happy to be able to share them. I'm really thankful I can share them with you. But um, I guess, yeah. So the next thing I was thinking about was our safety today. Because uh, I did a video blog while Skyping you, while uh, video blogging you in the car. And... I believe that driving is the most dangerous thing I do. Now, that comes from my dad, who is a scout leader. He does a lot of safety reports. That comes from Rob. I say my dad. You, I assume you know him as Rob or Grandpa. That's weird. He won't like me saying that yet. Um, maybe he will. But um, so, yeah, he's a scout leader. He does a lot of safety reports. And... Um, he says that the, when he like takes out these kids, right, to do these like sort of like these dangerous activities, like rock climbing and abseiling, canyoning and caving, he um he says the most dangerous part of what we do should be the drive there and the drive back, and that's an acceptable amount of danger in society, and it is, and it's that's and that's it. It's acceptable. That doesn't mean it's not dangerous. That's just what people accept. They're like, sure, we have to drive, so therefore that's okay. When reality is like, it's it's not okay, it's incredibly dangerous. Like, I I am much more reckless driving than I should be, and I'm, I'm a safe driver. Like, I always look over my shoulder when I merge, you know, I blinker, I, like when I reverse, I get out of like, practically get out of my seat and put my head in the back seat, you know, just like, just make sure I've got that 180 degree like field of view of just, I can see everything behind me, I'm not gonna hit anything. Like, I like, yeah, very, very aware, like predictive driver. I do like constantly predictive driving, you know, just predicting what's the worst that could possibly happen right now. And am I ready for that? Like if a kid ran out in front of me that behind that car, would I be able to stop in time or would I hit that kid? Is that like, like if you're going around a blind corner, am I fast enough to know that if uh, something pops out around this corner, I'm going to be able to stop in time? Like for instance, I like using, uh, I like sort of shifting down in drive when going around corners because then if something does come out, rather than just like 
already been on the brakes, I have the entire power of the brake behind me to do that emergency stop. That's how I like using the, yeah, the shift to save that emergency stop. And so that way, like, uh, I shift down in, like, drive to slow myself down. Because if an emergency comes, I still have the full power of the brakes to save myself and to save whoever I'm going to hit. Um, so, yeah, so... I guess the, the other message to take from this is that, like, there are lots of activities out there that are as dangerous as you make them. And this is a lesson, or this is a sort of like a... I made a good analogy um, yesterday when I was talking to some Yashai, some, the little brother of the CEO of Meta. And he currently works with this. And I um, I told him, he's like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go do parkour tomorrow. I was supposed to do it today. I didn't do it today because I was buying a tent. But, um, and he's like, oh, that's dangerous. So I'm like, well, it's only as dangerous as you make it. I'm not going to go jump off a roof. It's like, like surfing, right? And this is, this is what I, I think I used to use surfing. At least this is what I posted on Facebook. That um, surfing, like, you don't have to surf a 50-foot wave to be a surfer. Like, sometimes it's the four-foot waves that are the best waves, that will open up the best tricks and be the best ride. And that's nowhere near as dangerous as a 50-foot wave. And it's the same with parkour. You don't have to um, jump off a building to be a tracer to do parkour. You know, you can just jump over a table. You don't have to do a flip over a table. You just jump over the table. If you do it right, you do it with the right movements, the right motion. It's about, it's about the motion. It's about, like, control over your body. And that isn't dangerous. It's like gymnastics, right? This is what I actually told him. I said, it's like gymnastics. You don't have to do some sort of triple backflip and then land on a balance beam to be a gymnast. Like, you can, there's much simpler moves you can do. Um, yeah, and so it's about, it's about knowing what is dangerous and preparing for that. So if you go rock climbing, like, bouldering, incredibly dangerous. <laughs> uh... I'm sure it's safer if you know what you're doing and you've got enough experience behind you. But harness in, and you get set up a top rope, climbing isn't that dangerous. Like, it's it's still danger in it. You know, you can, you could slip and hit your head a little bit, like, or, but you can do that walking down the street. So, yeah, think, think about the different dangers involved in things before you do them, and that's probably the safest thing you can do is think about the dangers because then you're aware of what could possibly go wrong and be ready to be, you can start preparing for it. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, uh, my lessons learned today. And, uh, I'm, yeah, just really looking forward to seeing what you do when you overtake me. I hope it happens really early. Bye.